Dave was in here saying that he felt like uh, with their pitcher being so hard to hit that you almost felt like it was one-on-one -on -one kind of a thing maybe that you might have taken that mentality into the game. I don't know. How did you approach it? Um, I mean, the whole uh, approach we had today was just uh, just mixed pitches, uh, get a head stay ahead with uh, Owens and Hobbs. I mean, we just kind of put together that plan, and that's what we just kind of followed and executed it throughout six innings. You went through seven pitches in your last inning out there. I mean, was that in the back of your mind that you were on a, probably a pretty limited count? Um, I knew last week we were. This week, I wasn't sure how it would work. I mean, I wanted I wanted to keep going, but I mean, Coach Hobbs said, get ready for next week. In the first inning, I think you threw a, a strike to all three of the batters that you faced. It seems like it set kind of a tone in, in that regard the rest of the game. I wonder what you thought about getting ahead of hitters today. Um, getting ahead of hitters is always going to set the tone, especially coming out in the first inning. Um, I feel like just having those uh, the first three hitters getting strike one is a key, por key portion of it, especially to a team coming from the West Coast. Yeah. Hey, Christian, the approach that you guys took to hitting him, um, can you talk about what you did? And then... It looked like with runners on, he wasn't as he didn't have his command as much. Did y'all notice that? <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the time, usually when they're pitching out of the stretch, when runners are on base, they usually don't have as much command. Uh, but kind of the same approach as yesterday, we knew that he was going to stay away from us, so we uh, moved up in the box and on top of the plate, and that helped us to uh, attack that pitcher. Christian, have you been impressed with the job that Robert Moore's done so far? Yeah, he's been doing a really good job, especially this series. Uh, Whenever runners are in scoring position, he's putting the bat on the ball and uh, getting a lot of RBIs for the team. So he's doing a really good job with the hitting side of things and in the infield. Obviously, you guys are seeing that. He's doing a really good job with the glove, turning double plays, and I think he's going to continue to do the same thing. For both of you, what did you think of the play that he made where he flipped to the first base with his glove today? Well, I mean, I wasn't surprised that he made the play. He's like he's super quick in the infield, so. I mean, I saw him running over there. I knew he was going to get it done. I didn't know if he was going to grab it. I thought he was going to barehand it, but he ended up getting it with the glove. And so that was pretty cool to see him make that play, do something flashy. I mean, yeah, I kind of echo off of that. I mean, there's no surprise here. We see him in practice all the time. We just kind of see him again. That's one of the cooler parts. Um, Robert, first home run, first stolen base, first glove hand assist. Which one is uh, your favorite one to Probably the glove flip. Probably glove flip. Just asking Christian about the approach y'all took. Jacob was so such a different style, I guess. What was the approach you took? And um, when he pitched out of the stretch, it looked like you know he didn't have his command. Well, I don't know what the approach was for the right-handers, but for the left-handers, we knew that if it started away, it was probably going to be a ball. And just trying to get him up, um, he had a great changeup, and honestly, everything moved pretty good. So. Um, just trying to see him up, and if it started middle, it's probably going to be a strike. But if it started away, it's going to be a ball. Robert, your numbers are obviously a lot better this weekend than they were the first. When you feel like things maybe slowed down for you, uh, maybe what's been the difference in these three games versus the first three? Um, I was watching video of my at bats, and I didn't realize I was breathing so heavy the first weekend, and just trying to slow it down and uh, just take deep breaths. And Casey's really helped me trying to slow everything down, and um, so that's probably been the biggest difference. Hey Robert, having so much success so early on in your college career, where's your confidence at right now? Um, confidence level is high, uh, but you know, success today doesn't mean success tomorrow, and you got to prove it every day. Christian, y'all uh, got four steals today. Anything in particular that you saw they were slow to the plate, or, or anything on that? Uh, well, coach was talking about the. I mean, the pitcher he was pretty fast to the plate in the video. He was kind of slow, but we knew the catcher's arm wasn't amazing or above average, so. We wanted to take advantage of that. We did it today. And, and on your home run, it looked like you weren't happy. It looked like you were – I mean, did you think it was, was not out? Well, we take BP here every day, and I know if you hit a ball in the air, unless you're cursed at, it's probably not going to get out uh, to that part of the ballpark. But I guess we had a different jet stream today and just went out. Patrick, in the second inning, you walked a guy and you hit a guy in back-to-back at bats, and Matt came out and talked to you, and then – he got it out, and it seemed like you really settled in after that. What did he say, and, and, and what did you think of that sequence and maybe what it did for you the rest of the game? Um, before that, he, got, he kind of just told me, just, like, hey, make a pitch, get back in the dugout. Um, the whole thing was just, like, get ahead, get back to what got me through the first inning, got me through the first two outs in the second inning. And um, I think I threw three fastballs with the guy. I mean, luckily, he popped out the first base. But that was just, like, 
this one just pops out. Anything else? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, all of us. Thank you.